going on, everybody? We got a new vlog today. We're doing some new stuff. We're doing some fun stuff. I got my boy Marty here with me. What's up, dude? Hey, man. Just before we get started, I want to I want to give a little pitch to everybody out there on YouTube. Here's why you should subscribe to my channel. Oh, this is, is my channel. Check this out. When you subscribe to Jared's channel, he posts videos all the time, and the little notification bell dings off. But when you subscribe to my channel, I never post anything. And so, if you subscribe to my channel, you don't have to be bothered like you are. <laughs> when, when Jared when Jared puts a video out, you're like, oh, you got stuff in your inbox, and you don't have that problem with me. So you should subscribe to From the Van. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was a great <laughs> pitch. <laughs> with that, we're gonna get going with today's vlog. Thanks, Marty. YouTube definitely does want to see my butt on your channel. Um, by the way, guys, I was gonna give him a uh, shameless plug. He already <laughs> did that apparently. So he is uh, building out a new van right now. Marty is a uh, does not like hiring people to do anything. Uh, um, no. So, so any of you people that want to do some DIY stuff, you definitely want to check out Marty because he has, I would say, the least amount of experience in building <laughs> I've come across. <laughs> so take in the bed, like the nicest way possible. Like I've known the guy for a couple of years now, so I can kind of talk a little smack. But he is uh, recording everything, and he is going to be putting this new build on his new channel. This is a 136 inch wheelbase Pro Master 2019. He just picked this up because a year late. A year, a little year late, but it's okay. Um, he is selling this Mercedes Metris that not only did Marty live out of but Colette lived out of it with him. I don't know if you can see with the glare right there, but she's in there. I'm so um, thankful that she has poor taste. Yeah. The two of them lived in this thing right here, which is, and he's been on my channel before. I've actually shown Marty before. We've done a tour of his van. We are gonna go step inside that a little bit later. They changed a few things, which I really like. I, I think it's aesthetically beautiful now. Pretty. Not although it was, wasn't aesthetically beautiful before. They spiced it up. They, I like it a lot now. So we are going to check all of that out. We're gonna check out what he's got going on with the new van because they've actually already done some building stuff they put a roof rack on there i can't wait to talk to them about that and we're going to check out the, Mer the mercedes metris for sale hit them up from the van on instagram from the van on youtube from the van on uh podcasts i've been on his podcast twice he does a podcast from the van we have dozens of followers. Dozens. Dozens, dozens of people. Dozens. They, they got to hit that triple digit mark yeah. soon enough, though. <laughs> Let's get the rest of the, the day going here. Oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, he's ready. He's getting ready to cut in a window. For everybody out there that doesn't know how to cut a window in, he's actually doing it correctly. And I'm going to step in to show you the inside of it. The guy um, with the least the least experience is doing it correctly. He's, you know he's doing a very good job. Because I can read. <laughs> <laughs> I went on the internet. The reason he's putting so much freaking tape on this thing is because Jerry told me so. I did tell him actually. It's when you idea. use this, the jigsaw, and you stick it into thy hole, which by the way your holes aren't big enough. Uh, thy hole. No, one of them is. And that's okay. all you need to get started. This is there. true. So when he, you stick it in the, uh, as you can see there, right there, when you stick it in the hole and you run, you know, you run a line up either end of the blade there, you don't want it to scratch the paint. So you put the tape on here to make sure you don't scratch the tape why do you cut the holes from the outside and not the inside because that the jigsaw pretty much will not fit on the inside yeah. so how do you get the holes where they're supposed to be let's go on the inside and we'll start see. on the inside oh cool <laughs> clutch I just put a shoe on oh okay so pretty much you follow this line right here which again marty knows how to read so he did it correctly but this is the line where the window is going to be and then you bought your windows from van windows direct yeah Colette's gonna Van say Windows Direct. Van Windows Direct, which is the same place actually I got my windows. You guys got a fixed glass, like a like just like a like yep. no opening. We wanted it to look more like stock. a van that yeah, like a stock van than a customized van because we're going for the work truck vibe. Awesome. So oh there's Marty. So you got it from Wind Van Windows Direct. You already cracked a beer. All I needed was a little hey. distraction. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What? No. <laughs> You're not drinking that right now. I can't wait to Absolutely keep this not. online. This is amazing. Drama. <laughs> Drama in the Drama household. On the internet. You know what I'm gonna do? What did she do? She locked the other van. I don't have a key to the other van. Uh, Colette, I am gonna have to get in there eventually. Maybe you can give me a tour of the other van, Colette. 
Thank you. Is that, is that where the beers are? Yeah. Nice. Because we don't have a fridge in this video. You are cut yeah. off. Um, so what I'm trying to say is well, Marty is doing this correctly. Uh, this is one of the ways to do it. There's a couple other ways to do it, but this is probably the easiest DIY version of way to do this. Drill the holes around the, around the radiuses. Obviously there's four. They got their stock window, like Colette said, because they wanted to go with more of a worker van vibe. And if you have the T window, it just makes it really obvious that somebody's living in there on top of everything else. So, yeah. all right, we're gonna watch him do this right now. Here you go. Always wear safety goggles unless you don't have any. Whoa, Whoa Nelly. Friend Jerry Tachi told me to put on two layers of tape and he was right. This is what I do. So that'll scratch the hell out of that thing. Let's put another little bit. Well, if it's on the area where you're cutting, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, because you're gonna put that gasket around it, but might as well put an extra little bit in there. Cool. What are you doing, babe? Just put a little extra tape so that we like can maybe not scratch so bad. Oh, actually. This is the uh, this is the problem with van building. You guys run into stuff. You run into issues. You have to uh, kind of work and, and do what you can. He's about to turn on the jigsaw again. But I will show you guys. I mean, you guys get the drift. Guys, I stepped away a little bit so you can all talk to hear me. But anyways, he's cutting uh, the hole for the window right now. It's gonna look great. I already have the window, obviously. My guess is this is going to take roughly 20 minutes or so. So you got a big hole in your window, dude. Your van. Let was farting too much, so we had to put a little uh, oh, wow. ventilation into the van. Trying to throw Everybody you right under that, that bus. <laughs> Nobody believes that. I'm I'm the stinker. Dude, yeah, Truth true story. Told, I'm the stinker. <laughs> Don't know if I've seen aluminum I beams in a van before. First of all, even before you get into the aluminum I beams. Yeah. I already know we have, what van you have, but you already did the floor. Yeah, this is, um, there's a company called Cali Bamboo, and this is their vinyl version of their flooring. Colette's dad had some of this lying around, so he, he put it in. I so freebie? It's just his workhorse. Yeah, yeah, he hooked it up. And then uh, this was his idea too. This is aluminum I-beam that's meant to go in the middle of a fence post, like a, a vinyl fence post. And we just have two of them, one at the front, one at the back. I'm gonna get underneath so I can show everybody. And then two by fours. Just holding that all up. That span between. And so it's like a really lightweight solution. Obviously How'd you cut them? Uh, with a chop saw. Yeah, you change out the blade a little bit and you'll be good to go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we probably ruined his blade, but that's his problem. <laughs> <laughs> you mean, uh, was it your dad? Yeah, he's a yeah. sweet guy. He's a well, dude, before we go check out your mattress, uh, can you kind of give me a breakdown of what this is going to actually look like eventually? Because yeah. you haven't done jack to this van yet, other than put yeah, the bed the, in. There's the floor the and floor. the bed, and that's it. The thing that everybody says when they see this van is like, oh, you can stand up now. That's the second most important thing. What's the first? The first most important thing, the other van, which you'll see in a minute, is couch turns into a bed. Okay. And when the van is in bed mode, the bed basically takes up the entire van. And so if one of us wants to do something other than sleep while the other one wants to sleep, it's a total mess, right? Because like, like, what are you gonna do? You can go sit in the front seat right. or something like that. And yeah. so having a permanent fixed bed, I know that you have the Murphy bed, which yeah. is rad. But um, if I have somebody there that wants to sleep, the only thing I, well, I have a swivel. The swivel. And we could do that yeah, too in that van, and we do sometimes, but. But even still though, you're with, because of the size of that van, your mattress, the swivel, swivel is very difficult with, yeah, the, with the bed the, extended. And so what, what I will do sometimes is I'll swivel the seat 90 degrees, yeah. and I'll sort of spread out into the driver's seat from the passenger seat, because we only have the passenger swivel. But so having a fixed bed and then an extra living space is Huge. epic. It's so, so much more important than being out, able to not hunch over. And you went with the 136, which is smaller, which is way more efficient for city living. Yep. And that's pretty much the predominant reason why you went with the smaller wheelbase. And parallel parking, man. Yeah. The two of us, like we spent a bunch of time in New York in the fall. We stayed in Montreal and Toronto and Vancouver and Chicago for a long time. What is this uh, bumper to bumper, like 17 feet? Dude, it, I parked it next to the Metris. I don't know the answer to your question, okay. but I parked it next to the Metris and it's like six inches longer than the Metris. That's crazy. At the end of the day, the real reason that we chose the ProMaster is that it has the highest ratio of cargo space, 
two external dimensions. Yeah. Everything that's 6'4", the, the Sprinter is taller than the uh, Pro Master. The Transit, the oh, nice. amount is so much longer it than is. the Pro Master. It's got a big nose, yeah. And so this thing, <laughs> Shane Dennis said it looks like a stump toe. Yeah. And I will not stop the saying, saying that. The Pro Master. Yeah, yeah, the Pro Master looks like a stump toe. It's got a weird, like, Because he calls the squished. Nissan NV looking like a, a shoe. It's a yeah, shoe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. And he won't badmouth a sprinter enough. because he lives in one. But, uh, <laughs> right. um, but the sprinter, you know, is the same height as this guy. And but it's taller. taller. But it's yeah, wider. This is, so much wider. this is so much wider. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have like a love seat that's about, this is the top where the love seat will go. Okay. It'll go the whole extent there, except we're going to put a little hanging closet right here. Okay. And then we'll have cabinets hanging above the love seat. You okay. Know, you know, high enough to where it won't be a problem when you're sitting. Sure. Yeah. And then since this is the foot side, this is a piece of wisdom that we didn't know somebody told us uh, like last month or something is that when you're sleeping sideways you always want to have your feet on the passenger side because they dome yeah uh, did I tell you that they dome streets yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe so yeah, yeah the yeah. the for for rain and and uh, you know just water drainage yeah the streets yeah. highest at the middle correct so you want to sleep head up you always want to sleep with your heads on the driver's side which kind of sucks because it's like if you do get sideswiped you're you're over but that's never <laughs> it could happen Nobody but nobody drives um, who was that? Streets. Wasn't it you that we were telling me on on our vlog about the parking? Always pay, make sure somebody's parked behind you. Mm -hmm. That was you, yeah. Yeah, so that you get glanced. Instead yeah, of instead of rear ended, rear -ended right? Yeah. That's always a good idea, by the so way. So cabinets up here, and then this is gonna be our kitchen. Go about halfway into the yeah. slider. Twenty-four right. is our magic number because we're six feet wide, so it'll be. 24 foot opening here and a 24 foot alleyway. I mean, either this way, way, this thing's gonna feel like inches. a mansion. It already does, man. Yeah. Uh, oh, and there'll inches. be a pop-up uh, countertop that makes it. Oh, the full, yeah, so just more. Either a pull-out or a pop-up. Right. So it can extend the length of the countertop. Nothing, nothing other than the sink, nothing inside the, like, inside the galley. Like no no cooktop, you're gonna have a portable? Yeah, probably. Yeah, we'll have like an portable. induction cooktop that pops that that'll just live up under there right. but it won't stay in there. Are you going so lithium or AGM or gel? Lithium for you sure. You are gonna go. That's the one thing with the last <laughs> build that I would that I would take back. I love the mattress. You buy a two hundred amp hour battery, you have a hundred amp hours of usable storage. Yeah. It weighs hundred and thirty pounds. Yep. And a hundred amp hours of lithium weighs thirty pounds. So yeah, isn't it ridiculous? Pounds. So we're gonna put a face on this and we've actually sleep sleeping in here we're sleeping in here because this is a nicer bed than we have in the other van but you've been sleeping in this the tin yeah. can good for you <laughs> no, we're excited yeah. about it our new one bed really that excited. Aaron made is beautiful oh the cushion is nicer the in cushion here. is nicer the yeah. bed it's is like actually the uh, is... in the new in the older van is brand new and it's made by an absolute craftsman we'll show that yeah we're going to show you guys that in a minute but what we're going to do is we're going to put like a like a face here like a backstop you know and that'll be the garage up under there that's why I put all the solar and stuff what we've been scared about sleeping in here is spin jump down because you know he's this tall and we're worried about him sliding and like like tweaking one of his hips or something. So you're gonna make a step for him? And so we're gonna make a step. And for me. And so hard to get up there. <laughs> How tall are you? You're five, five three? Five three. Oh, yeah. It's really yeah. hard to get up there. <laughs> so it's we'll have a step that'll also double as like a little bench like a for dresser. extra people sitting. But there'll be drawers and yeah. all of that that we're probably gonna inset back here. The other big thing that a lot of people don't think about, I know you already have, and that's why I'm asking the question, is refrigerator size. Where is that going in this? Because you had a bench, you have a galley, you've got you know drawers over there. What, yeah, how are you gonna fit a refrigerator? We're thinking we're gonna do yeah Dometic makes like a trucker fridge style like yep. you have um that are front opening instead of the top opening like we have right now yep. so it's probably going to be under our kitchen counter God, awesome uh, toward the Good end stuff. of it the sink will be on the right side or on my right right here and the fridge will go on the left so it'll probably so open thinking. open this way or either this way right into the alley or into the doorway but, that's pretty cool <laughs> yeah the, now, the, the other huge thing that's a benefit about the tiny van is that everything is always in arm's reach i've been lamenting the fact that when this van is built out and I'm sitting in bed and I want to get a beer, I'm going to have to actually get out of bed. To yes, get a you beer. do. Um, It'll probably be good for you, Betty. Yeah. <laughs> you actually might not drink as much. That's our friend Selena. This is Selena, everybody. Hi. Do you live in the house, Selena? Yeah, I'm just moving in. Oh, cool. Uh, you don't live in this house, Marty, so you might want to just say, like, thank you to the people that are allowing you to use the driveway. No, seriously. Oh, thank you, Selena. <laughs> I used to live in this house. I built that hot pink lifeguard chair in 2012. Yeah, there's actually um zero point to that whatsoever. On my birthday. Because there's the, no the hot pink lifeguard chair. The ocean is way over there. Yeah. 
you get an ocean view, but you get a better ocean view from the top of that 10 foot tall hot pink life chair. <laughs> so you did it for like, just to I have a hot pink life chair. I used to live in this house. My buddy Paul got a lifeguard chair and I was helping him move it into the back of his truck. And I was like, I can build one of these. Nice. And so you just wanted to build one. I had one. to do it bigger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Keeping up with the Joneses. Contest. He owns a house now and I own two vans. Please buy the other one. <laughs> but now nah, she pounds the beer. Do you guys want to go over to the other van? And Yeah, there's beer in the van. Well, not that. More for you. I was, Why not? I already you cut have, the hole. You have work to do. I was more along the lines of just showing me the van. I wanna, I wanna see the van. This bad boy's for sale. By the way, Ghost is here. Hello. I'm gonna sit actually right there in the swivel, and you guys can give me a tour of it because you can pretty much see the entire van. And then I'll get in the back yeah. in a minute, and then show I'm off wide. the back. Oh, I'm wide. I can see you, Colette. I'm wide. Okay. And now Spin just came in. You changed. You guys changed. Like just aesthetically, you changed everything. We painted a lot. We put some molding along the top. We painted these guys white. Painted this. The bed is brand new. My buddy Aaron Hauser builds um, custom furniture in LA for wealthy people. Like it's really good stuff. It's really yeah, he's got a he's got a great shop. He does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's one of my one of my oldest friends. Really sweet guy. And whenever I go up there, if he has time, he helps us out with stuff. So the funny thing is, this is the same faceplate. Yeah. And he wanted to keep this because it sort of goes with the aesthetic of the other stuff that I built with like just hand tools because yeah. I didn't have a table saw when I built this van. But underneath it, it is like... He re it the whole thing. Gourmet, the whole thing. bomb proof, perfect. It slides perfectly. Really sturdy, super smooth. It's what I was super impressed, and they had this on their Instagram stories, by the way, guys, is you guys gutted the van in less than a day. So like you said earlier, yeah. I am the least experienced fan builder that you know. <laughs> I, I, I'll come but to that. I, I, it's least experienced, but at the same time, you did it efficiently. We think the one really brilliant thing that I did, and I didn't see this on, it, one of my, my buddy Paul I was talking about earlier, who's an engineer, turned me on to these. Everything is bolted to the van with riv nuts. And right. It, it, you know, depending on what your take is, it may take away from the aesthetic a little bit, but if something were to go wrong with this, fan everything is modular you don't like this cabinet rebuild it you just you don't have to put a new screw hole in the van you just take the thing out you know? yeah and, and you so, did that yeah you guys literally we did it to paint everything yeah you, you know, did it painted behind the furniture Sorry, and everywhere Sorry, yeah we took literally took everything out of here touched it and up if fixed the, the, the most complicated thing is taking the solar cabinet apart even that takes 45 minutes and so it's like you could take this van up completely apart if you i mean we haven't had any leaks but if you did have a leak or something like that you could take the solar Solar panel, I mean, the, not the solar panels, the ceiling panels out immediately and just fix the problem, you know, dry it out or whatever you had to do. Power wise, you got 300 watts of solar. 300 watts of solar, 200 amp hour AGM, and a thousand watt inverter. Thank you, Colette. Also, I think I showed you this on the last tour. But you did. It was like Aaron, a. Aaron, who cool. built this bed, actually, I put the. Because I thought I was going to screw the solar up, I put it in really valuable real estate, a uh, super important place, and I did everything right. It works perfectly. Nice. And so we had to reclaim some of the storage space because there's a giant cavity that was unused, and he built this dope little floating cabinet right here. It's just on wing nuts. Yeah. That's yeah, it. it. It sort of. Yeah, I'm not going to do it right now. Exactly. Yeah. But That's awesome. Aside from the bed, it's the nicest built thing in the van. <laughs> <laughs> no, everything's, shelf, I mean. The shelf too. Yeah, he did the shelf, shelf too. Oh, nice. I mean, honestly, it's just a super efficient. You guys can take this thing any, anywhere. You know, you you both have talked about this already on my on my channel before that you traveled through X amount of states, you know, so many miles. Oh, it's like yeah. you stealth parked everywhere. everywhere. It's, it's been super efficient. I think I've done 33 states in the van. Yeah, it's been and like just super. And like, I mean, you guys both have been comfortable in here. It doesn't look like anything. And you're selling it for cheap. Been in here for a year and a half. Yeah. I mean, it's a Mercedes too at the end of the day. It's oh, a it super, drives. super reliable van. It drives, it drives like a car. Amazing. It does. Yeah. I'm sitting in here comfortably. We you you podcast from here. You've had four in here comfortably. Regular. Forty-five episodes. Four, dude. Congratulations. The fiftieth will be at Tiny Fest. Oh, uh, oh, is that your goal? No. Oh, you already just, have it, it already worked, scheduled. It just worked out. We're gonna do oh beautiful a live our first live in front of an audience podcast. And this video will be coming up before the Tiny Fest California. Nice. So come on around and you can heckle us while we ask. Do some a lot. Poor schmuck. Did you just questions. throw that at her? I was trying to throw it out. <laughs> it <didn't> work. <laughs> Did it get you? Yeah. Uh, uh, show me the back because how do two people live in a van? Because you uh, you cook you cook out of the back for the most part, correct? Spin's yeah, yeah. coming. One of the things about living in Southern California is that 
as long as you're in a place where it's acceptable, you can spill out of the van. You also created like an awning system at one point. Oh, this is cool. I, I came up with this idea and then Colette, who's a bit of a seamstress, sewed this together. Beginning. Yeah. I did the upholstery for the bed. It's killer. There are a couple um, of little zip ties up here. Can you just hook it on? Yeah, it just flips them on right there. Uh, magnetic. Does this come with the van? Of course. Sure. It won't, it won't go with any other van. It's made custom it's for custom this one. It's custom for this one? So it's basically like a fitted bottom sheet for a cat. Oh, you got magnets in that thing? And there are, yeah, there are there earth, are magnets. earth magnets in here. That's you a know, super I, nifty idea. I thought for a long time about getting one of those professionally made awnings, but the problem is that gives you away, right? right. And so this just tucks in the corner there. And you know, like when I'm making breakfast and whatnot under here, we got a little butane stove and the instant pot is like the godsend for fan life. Favorite thing. If you live in a van and you don't have an instant pot, I don't know what you're up to, man. And I mean, and here's the funny thing about it, is people are like, oh, your, your power can't handle it. Guys, he's got a 200 watt amp hour battery. Yeah. It handles it just fine. Yeah. Yeah. This is and you, it's your inverter. Instant pot, the three quart, which is plenty for two people. Like if we yeah. pull that thing up, we have meals for three or four days. I honestly, so I food. honestly should use mine more and I don't, yeah. but I have awesome. one and I just don't use it it's as much. The, it's a one dish meal. You know it is. I mean? It's yeah. amazing. I should be cooking more in it, Little honestly. Dishes, super efficient. Yeah. I think you guys have turned me on to cook more out of it. The rivets, this is also cool about the rivets is we were able to make like last minute modifications when we found out what we needed. So you saw we have a drying rack. So we just backed out those rib nuts and was able to, to string one of these, one of these, what do you call this? Just like little straps, yeah? Straps so that we can hang clothes there and then we made this strap to hold the Instant Pot and the kettle in place. Yeah. And so you can try, the thing about the rib nuts is that you can try stuff like that. Yeah. And if it doesn't work, you can undo it, it. Cause all we did was cut two little holes in these straps and, and screwed them in. Whereas like, you know, if you wanted to change where things are in a van. This is attached with one rib nut. <laughs> this little rustic, what did Aaron call it? Shabby chic. Yeah. No, it is like shabby this, chic. For this our is our silverware. This is our silverware bucket and it's like attached to the thing on a rib nut. And the deal is the rib nut's permanent. But you just put the hole in the in the van once and you can attach anything that you want there or just leave the rib nut bare. Where it, it comes with these cargo vans come with so many holes that so you can just you could yeah. just use those for ribbon, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that's a great idea, guys. I love it. I love it a lot. To a countertop. This folds down to extra counter space. Yeah. yeah. That was sort of the that's trick all. with this van is like... This is like a... Absolutely switch. trying to maximize... Serious Swiss Army knife action all going on. The useful space. I don't know if you guys just noticed. He opened up the bottom cabinet there so he could use it as a tabletop for that. Sand that's like there. super efficient right there. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's on a leaf. That's awesome, guys. Super sturdy. I'm gonna be on it. I know. You guys are in the shade. I'm getting not yeah, in the shade. In the, That's okay. The sun coming That's out okay. Coming in the sun? No, it's fine. It's cool. <laughs> cool. Just make me bake in the sun. Uh, no, seriously, guys, uh, hit them up from the van. Easiest way to get a hold of them is through Instagram. They will get back to you if you guys are interested in the mattress. I don't know what the name is for it. Uh, I believe everything's included. Are you are you including the refrigerator? Yep. You can have the Instant Pot, man. <laughs> you can have the Instant yeah, Pot too. It there it is. It's sized for the system. Yeah. Uh, it will hit you up. We'll, we'll get back to you even if you aren't interested in the mattress. Just talk to us. Yeah, just give them a call. You know, <laughs> not call them, but you know, hit them up. Like they're a super interesting couple, and I love them. And you know, I'm gonna keep on showing them on my on my YouTube channel because they're just my special friends. So uh, they're gonna be at Tiny Fest California with me, which is gonna be great. I can't wait to hang out with them there and party with them and et cetera and so forth. We're gonna do a live podcast Live there. podcast. The 50th episode Super live excited. podcast. It'll, it'll, it'll be the first podcast uh, of from the van that's from a stage. Yeah, there you go. We're gonna we're gonna bring your van onto the stage. I hope so. No, we're gonna, not gonna I, let I that happen. I doubt we're gonna allow that. <laughs> Although we should like try and do like some quick set, like just to make it look like it's from the van, like a Wayne's World type situation. Oh, we yeah. probably could. Yeah, we totally should, but we're not going to because we're lazy. Yeah. Hey, if you've got a, got a van seat that's just like sitting around and you want to spend $200 to ship it to us so that we can put it on the stage at Tiny Fest, we'll see you Yeah, there. just come on down. <laughs> uh, really good ideas, Marty. Uh, all right, guys, hit them up from the van. Um, yeah, go finish your window, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we we got to prime that. Drink some more van. beer and, yeah. and finish a window. Nope. <gasps> Uh, oh, 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 you got super excited about beer. All right, guys, I am cutting this off. I got to go back and do some work. I'm going to let them finish up their work. But seriously, check them out. If you guys are seriously interested in the van, please, please, please uh, let them know. They even have a little canine sticker. How funny is that? And it does add to the stealthness. 
Um, wish him luck on this van. I'm super excited to see where this goes. And I will, in a month, in a month from now, I'm coming back to San Diego area because I'm actually leaving San Diego tomorrow. I am coming back in a month and I am checking in on him. We're gonna make sure this, this crap is done. <laughs> make sure it's done. It's gonna be completely done in a month. I'm just kidding, it will not be. Um, but it might be. It might be, he gets a lot of help. All right guys, we'll see you later. <laughs>